cruising in my lane fast, call it high speed. I've been working hard, yeah, I've been working nightly. If you think you'll win, ha, nah, fucking life. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the 15th episode of Camping Buddies. As you can see, we have our lovely guest Kelly here with his brand new webcam. Say hi, Kelly. Howdy, this is me. <laughs> Say hi, Kelly. The room. <laughs> That's, that's a callback to episode 14 of Camping Buddies. <laughs> it's for true right. fans. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then we got Alyssa Cat, as always, but she doesn't want to be on camera today. Where's your cam? Hmm. It's not today. Hmm. A little suspicious. Say hi, <laughs> hi. And then we got the regular degular moles. That, de hi. that degular sounded a little bit racist, if you ask me. In what way? Never. What you're fishing for it? I am. I am. <laughs> Toxic. Yeah, right. Game, I don't see it. Uh, Episode fifteen. Oh, um. That's oh, right. I wanted to start this off with a huge ass rant. Uh, apparently, only me and Kelly can really put input into this. Uh, Hector yeah. and Alyssa just get to listen pretty much. Um, yep. the actual Boba Fett portion of Book of Fett was god awful. Uh, yeah, uh, I would say the whole fucking show was uh, was a fucking train wreck. It was, God, it wasn't like sequenced properly. It wasn't fucking exactly. planned out yep. like at all. And it just made Boba Fett look like a fucking pussy. Like I think everyone <laughs> after this show recommend like favors fucking mando then oh 100 i went i went into this show immediately i was like yeah no, i'm more of a din kind of guy oh um, um, like, i think mando kind of made din look like a pussy too though it wait, didn't what? seem like he was really winning his fights oh you mean you're saying like book of fett made him look bad it kind of no, did honestly mando wait talking about mando. i i don't think I don't Mando think is Din, but he's very powerful in. No, yeah, Din... I know. Yeah, so why are you saying that Mando didn't make him look good? It made him look amazing. I don't think so. It seemed he seemed pretty weak sauce to me. We always talked oh, about so... the fighting scenes and how like well how well they were choreographed. Like they looked like realistic. Uh, I just feel like he was always getting his ass kicked. Nah, dude. He sliced this. A alien in half with the dark suit, dude though. that shit okay I, when okay and the only show, part he showed there was a fucking learning curve with the sword which kind of brings his character a little bit more oh what in like, boba fett centered no. yeah or are you talking about i was talking show? about mandalorian no he oh. is talking he is talking about din he he's yeah. so in book of fett he, there's like a whole like dark saber training arc kind of a thing mm -hmm. sorry yeah my bad um so firstly first thing i want to say the mods absolutely worthless i fucking hated the mods the mods were so such a garbage character a group of characters the mods the, Was that the enhanced villain? no the enhanced human biker gang people. the theater kids the fucking, yes, theater, the fucking kids. theater kids they were so fucking annoying added their... nothing to the fucking story just like thank you boba fett now the streets are safe that's all we ever wanted who just are these the fucking fuck kids it. yeah seriously what no it made no sense garish fucking brightly colored motorcycles that made no fucking sense. oh my god they looked so awful too that shit did not look star wars-esque at all that shit was awful in a, in a fucking planet where you're fighting for water these fucking people have like enough money to pimp out their their ride and their fucking arms <laughs> and their cybernetics like and it wasn't even like cool like bikes they looked like faggios like <laughs> <laughs> they, looked, like, they looked like what good fucking god they, they, they so like the little uh the little street street scooters uh and the gta fucking... they're called fagios that's why i said that fagios. guy was like <laughs> what the oh, fuck was I... that I saw that clip on TikTok. <laughs> yeah, you really had to do that. You know what? Stun on Mandalorian or on Boba Show. <laughs> I never even thought about this until just now after you did that. I didn't really like um, Dark Chewbacca either. <laughs> it was, it was really... a Legends character, guys. Oh my god. No one cares. Yeah. I don't you fucking know, care. 
I I appreciated Cad Bane. Everyone hated Cad Bane. I kind of liked him. It was very poetic for Cad Bane to die uh, by Boba Fett. Yeah, via Boba. Yeah. But he had. He died. He made a. He should have died. There's no reason to have him keep going to these fucking shows. Honestly. (laughs) I thought people were really happy up for him. Yeah, he's a really cool fucking character, but. He only showed up twice, and he should have been played as the main fucking villain throughout the entire show. Yeah. Who, who were the main guys with the mask? The I don't Pikes. Fucking know. <laughs> the, the fucking, fucking Pikes. Pikes. Who the fuck are they? No one cares. That's what I was everyone thinking. Knows, <laughs> everyone fucking notes Cad Bane. He's super fucking cool. And it'd, see, it'd be cool to see him in like episode one. And we're like, what the fuck? It's like, it could be like a Grogu first entering the show. And everyone's like, baby Yoda, what? Now I'm interested. They'd be the same thing with Cad Bane. Exactly. Um, it was just wasted potential. It, this show was fucking sloppy. It, What's his it, name? Bless his heart, but he's too fucking old to be doing this shit. He, yeah. B- Boba Fett's will be 34 years old. Yeah. It's, it's pretty rough. Uh, who, who what was the other thing? Oh, yeah, the monster, Wait, whenever they fucked them. Oh, he was for a sec. Oh, My, shit. Oh. Just smile. For those who are audio listeners, Kelly just did the fucking craziest smile with jazz hands to like, <laughs> <laughs> to yeah, like fix the thing. <laughs> uh, no, but another fucking thing I hated. Well, what the fuck was the point of the monster? He's just like, I would like to train to ride this monster. You're telling me it took like five seconds to learn? Like, what? <laughs> and then you get shot off of it. Don't even go to stop it yourself. Fucking Din has to do that, too. Oh, my God. It's that was, so like, fucking annoying. a shit streak on a pretty good clean pair of underwear of the mm-hmm. S- Star Wars shows. Yeah, no, Din, um, Din really carried the shit out of, like, everything going on there. Mando was the best part of that fucking show. He was out doing his thing and what he did fucking best, and he brought everyone back. Because I was like, after the third episode, I was like, I'm fucking done. This show's lame. I'm done. And then but Mando came back. What the fuck? Yes, that was so fucking fun to watch. But yeah, they, no. I, I'm confused. I'm confused. Like, what was the? I don't know if they realized beforehand like the show wasn't gonna ring in that much audiences, so they ended up editing some parts of episode one of the Mando season three into it. And then they just did reshots of them, like meeting up with Grogu. I don't fucking know, but it just seems weirdly out of place. It's welcomed, but it's out of place. Hmm. Yeah. um, I feel like as soon as they realize that they (laughs) they just don't want to put that much more effort into the, Oh, Kelly, think froze again. Uh, they didn't want to put like too much more effort into it. Um, they just decided, uh, let's just make this Mandalorian season three. Let's just go for that. And uh, I I think he really carried the show honestly, but at the same time, I feel like they're a little bit lazy with his parts, like the Luke thing. Like, why did we? Why should we give a shit about Luke's like inner thought about Grogu? Like, oh, I don't know what to do with this little guy. You know, I don't know if I want to train him. And then like he gives him the choice: hey, see your pretty much father figure, or come with me and never meet anyone ever again. But you get this cool laser pen. No, <laughs> like the, the, what? Fuck? The comically small lightsaber was that Yoda's? <laughs> yeah, it was Yoda's too. I was like. <laughs> you tell me you just jacked Yoda's lightsaber? What the fuck? <laughs> like, whatever, what ended up happening to it? He has it somewhere. I don't fuck it. Like, I uh, just fucking wrecked him. He could probably I remember fit it. He, he dropped it somewhere in one of the pre- prequels. What? Yeah, in Revenge of the Sith. I think he oh, did you're drop it. About, in that, you're talking about Yoda. That, okay. Like a really big hole. Oh, yeah, the uh, the co- the the council thing with the floating yeah the yeah things, you know. yeah he dropped it when he was like getting assassinated. Yeah, Same with the Luke's rough. lightsaber, the blue lightsaber that was also dropped in Bespin, and they somehow fucking have it. 
That's what I'm saying. Like, it, yeah. there's a lot, just so much shit that doesn't make sense. This is why I think I loved Mandalorian because, like, you're just getting this completely separate story, and now it's a little bit connected. But now it's not connected again. Like now we could give a shit less about anything else. Like, um, it's just its own story, and they did it pretty fucking well, and I love it so much and very very dearly. I want to see what happens with the dark saber. I want to see what happens with Grogu. I am super invested. I also like that Grogu is like a little bit smarter now, but like also still really dumb. <laughs> I love him being a shithead, like a spoiled yeah, little, like a little shit. Yeah, he's so funny. Uh. <laughs> like, I want him to, like, bully a kid or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, in that one episode of, uh, I think it was, yeah, season two Mandalorian, um, he steals a kid's fucking cookies. <laughs> oh. That show is awesome. God. I also, I will say this, uh, this is, like, the only spoiler that uh, I'm sure you've seen Hawk, but uh, I'm not sure if you would give a shit about um, the Razor Crest. It's gone. I love the Razor Crest, but this new ship's pretty fucking sick. The new ship's pretty fucking cool. Like Din has a new ship. Yeah, yeah. and it looks not... pretty fucking fire. I haven't seen it. Yet. Uh, it's like a smaller spaceship because the Razor Crest is like basically his apartment that he flew yeah this that's, one he's yeah. gonna have to he's gonna have to make more stops to places that's what i'm saying like right. it's there so like okay so what i will say this new um i should probably turn myself down a little bit uh this new ship uh it sacrifices space but he literally cannot be touched this ship is like the fastest ship in all of fucking oh, existence real agile yeah, super, super agile. You literally, like, it, it's it's impossible to hit this shit, is what the point was. And, like, there, it's like an old ship, so, like, it's kind of like how an X-Wing works. Like, you have, like, the droid slot, you know? Uh, uh, and uh, so they gutted out, like, the little spot where the droid's supposed to go, and that's where Grogu hmm. sits now. What? <laughs> yeah. It's like it's a like, glass dome. Yeah, and I was like, dude, there is not much stopping that kid from dying in space right now. Yeah. <laughs> He's like one asteroid away from like Death. being a bloated corpse. Yeah. Jeez. In chat. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like, <laughs> I don't know. Like I loved the Razor Crest, but I also really love this. Like they both really fit Din super fucking well, and I like that. <laughs> um but That's the paint job. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> the dude loves his fucking chrome, dude. Am I right? <laughs> shit. It's cool. It's cool as yeah. shit. Yeah, it's really cool. Um He I don't know, they he sacrificed the room for speed, and so that means he has to probably make like a million more stops. Another thing is is like the bounty hunting, I'm not sure how the fuck he's supposed to do that with a ship like that. He's just supposed to like tow them, like <laughs> he's gonna drag them. <laughs> it's that small. Yeah, yeah, it's it's literally a one seater besides the droid thing. Oh wow. Yeah. That's a good point. How is he gonna make bounties? He's not going unless I think that's he's not gonna his main have goal. to like kill him. Just carry the, just have Grogu hold the head in the back. <laughs> a bag of teeth. A bag of teeth. Here's all here's him and his henchmen. <laughs> you made a good observation because maybe the next season there's not it's as that uh, it's Oh, it's that probably not going to be the main focus. I feel like Mandalore is going to be the main focus. He's going to have to bathe in the water, so I might get a shirtless. Suit. Oh my god, what? dude, shirtless oh. armorless. <laughs> Imagine it's just him in the helmet, like just this he jack dude do in the helmet. Wow. You see his ass cheeks. <laughs> it's Grogu. No, it's going to be like Grogu, like covers the dick shot. You know what I mean? Like, you're gonna see the rest of his body, but, like, Roku's just, like, in the perfect spot to hide his dick. Uh, <laughs> like, one of his ears is, like, forward towards the camera. Barely... <laughs> and he's, like, pretty close, too, so you know that shit is schlong. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, yeah, that was the hot take of uh, Book uh, of I have one thing going out about it. One thing I saw about the show was that, like, it was so sloppily made. I think in one of, like, the first few episodes, like, maybe the third one, like, it was showing parts 
Like, like there was a camera scene where there's a part of the set showing. What? Yeah, like it's like the corner of a wall on a building, and oh. then like there's the outside, and they're like running on the outside or something, and then you can see the set inside the building, like because it didn't have a roof. Like you can see like the no wood and like the shelving. Way. They're yeah. just breaking the fourth wall, guys. Like, <laughs> uh, it's not that serious, Hong. Huh? Right. <laughs> Bro, like, wow. I don't know how this, they wouldn't I fucking even, catch that. I don't even fucking doubt it, honestly. This, mm-hmm. like, I feel like every Star Wars fan right now is always complaining about their favorite fucking movies. Like, no, nah, B- Book of Fett was so goddamn awful for so many reasons. <sighs> What was your least favorite part, or like, yeah, your just your most hated part of Book of Fett, Kelly? <sighs> Everything's not an option, but I guess I have to choose one. Yeah. <laughs> so, what's his name? Uh, Boba Fett. He was taking his little grandpa nap inside the fucking pod. Yep. Why is he still fucking there? And then the black <laughs> uh, Chewbacca came up and assassinated him. This old man can't hold up a. <laughs> He, got he can't get it up. How do you fucking so fight this giant fucking Wookiee it's, monster? It's like, okay, like... and then the fucking theater kids are like, "Stay back! We're gonna shoot you!" <laughs> Fuck that bitch! <laughs> Kick her ass! <laughs> no, like that Fennec, ass. <laughs> Fennec Shan stays fucking boring. She's a boring fucking character. Yeah, I is. wish she had more to fucking do or have a personality. Yeah. She has zip. Nothing. She's a boring fucking character. She's a cool actress. She was the voice of uh, Mulan, and she was in a bunch of... Uh... She was in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Yes. And it'd been that. cool if she had... She has a cool design. It's a really cool design, but she's like... She can be literally be the boss. Boba Fett... Yeah. To think like where he was in Return of the Jedi, he already knew about this whole crime thing. He was there for a good minute when Han Solo was in Carbonite. So why is Fennec giving him the down low of fucking everything he was there to begin with? Yeah, Maybe he has fucking Alzheimer's. I don't fucking know. Maybe it's just for the audience. When I tell you... Well, yeah, it's definitely definitely for the audience. Um, When I tell you that that old dude got fucking tossed by Black Chewbacca, I say tossed. (laughs) He was, like, reaching for shit. Like, please! (laughs) And it's, like, Big Toe extended out, like, so fucking far. And I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, I don't know why they kind of made a focus on that. He was in his chonies and like his feet was dangling and the toe was at a fucking ninety degree angle. It was Can we talk about <laughs> how he ran out in his robe after they captured the blood? <laughs> it's like Jesus Christ. <laughs> Boba Fett was like the biggest fucking warrior that wasn't a Jedi in in Legends. Yeah. He's a bitch now. A bitch. He yeah. got bitched out by a, a superior Mandalorian. It honest. wasn't even like the Tuscans that I hated. I actually liked the Tuscan backstory. But after that, it all sucked. Also, why the fuck <laughs> would the Pikes kill the Tuscans? Like, where's the fucking merit to that? It's just one. D- like, they had to kill the entire Tuscan clan in order to get to Boba Fett? That just made it they were worse. They're ugly for monsters. Them. I don't know. Ugly monsters, they die. Dude, that dread <laughs> that dread Tuscan did nothing apparently. I don't know where the fuck he went when that happened. I didn't even see his body. I know what they were trying to do, like there was like this Tom Cruise movie and he was like going with a samurai, right? And he's like, I wanna learn this new thing and become a samurai. He was like a white samurai. Right. They were trying to do it with that or like dances with wolves. But the Native Americans had something to offer they offered him like friendship in return or something like that the tuscans were beating the shit out of him and boba had no (laughs) fucking reason to be there other than i don't know why he stayed honestly like after he killed that thing he could have been like all right i'm gonna be on my way guys and then that little snitch red fucking alien dude like what was the point of that (laughs) who the one alien that like snitched on him was just like, "Hey, he's trying to get away." 
but he, even though he was also tied up. Oh, the yellow guy in the yellow I, suit? I, I think he was... Wasn't he red? I thought he was red. He, he was like a Greedo's race. Yeah, whatever the fuck. He was like digging with his like giant hand prosthetics and like, <laughs> <over> his, like... <laughs> he's like... <laughs> he, he was digging his own grave. That's what I thought that they were doing at first. I genuinely thought that kid went out there for them to dig their own fucking graves. I was like, Jesus Christ. That's fucking hard. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, Alyssa, your oh. hot take. Go I've away. I've never seen it. I, I have no idea. I don't care for... I, th I think he means... I think he means Euphoria now. I, th oh, I think we're... I think no. We to, oh, no? I no. meant, like, Star Wars, because you were quiet the whole time wanted to give you a yeah. chance. Yeah. No, I just... I don't like Star Wars, so... Blame. Star Trek. No. Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, before before we end this topic, uh, my least favorite thing, the mods, 100%. Uh, my, sec my favorite thing, uh, Darksaber. I've I've Dark never been more erect for that dark saber until this until this series. I feel like it was way cooler here than it was in Mandalorian season two. Mm -hmm. It like yeah. hardly even. I guess that bad guy was using it a bunch. But I don't understand the whole mechanics around like. I wonder if it's like a force type thing where you have to like, be more in tuned with it yeah that, that was kind of interesting because like if it was forged by a mandalorian you would think like okay well that means like would that mean like it's how din's side of the mandalorians was or like the other side of the mandalorians or the jedi because the jedi is a, i feel like the jedi the, he literally said that the jedi is the opposite of the mandalorians because they, they though... need like solitude or something well, even though the saber was made by uh, a Jedi Mandalorian, Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, it the was guy like who made the... like fucking forever ago. Um, <laughs> I think we got what we needed to say off our chest. Yeah, uh, yeah, no. for me anyway. I'm sorry, I was, I didn't, I, I, I should have said like, day. what was your worst? Because I was in a fucking heated <laughs> rage, yeah. a blind rage. <laughs> I forgot to ask what your uh, most least favorite thing was. We should we should write a book, Kelly. <laughs> anyway, you guys talk about Euphoria now. I'm gonna go get some water. <laughs> oh, all right. So, I'm sorry. You go. I've talked too much. Oh, um, you're fine. All three of us have seen it, right? Yeah. All caught up. Yeah. I'm not all cool. caught up. I've gotten cool. up to the point where. Can we even talk about it then? I know what happens. I know what fucking happens. Oh my. Um, I know you enough don't know to... what happens though. I do. Yeah, what what part did you get up to then? I've gotten up to the point I'm one hundred percent caught up on they were all at that house when Rue went there and mm -hmm. she's like, How long have you fucking Nate Jacobs? That's right. as far as you got. Oh my. Um and then I've gone Bruce up to the point where Nate Jacobs Bobby, threatens what's her name with a gun. Okay. Oh. That was kind of erotic. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> a little kinky. She was whimpering and crying for her fucking life. That's hot. It was really hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 um, did I miss something's hot? <laughs> this this poor teenage girls. Uh, let's not forget they're all fucking seventeen years old. Yep. My yeah. sex life as a teenager was zip, was zero, was zero. Yeah, literally. Um, yeah. They're think. literally fucking for their lives. If they're not mm -hmm. talking, they're fucking. They're fingering each other. They're, what <laughs> oh the God. fuck? Yeah, literally. <sighs> Nate Jacobs pulling up with a fucking gun, threatening mm -hmm. people. He put someone in jail. He choked some his gr the same girl, Alyssa. I I need Wait, to think. Who did he put in jail? <laughs> Oh, um, he put in that uh, innocent guy, uh, Tyler. Oh, right, 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 right. The guy that he beat the shit out of. Yeah. 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 He put Ray someone Walker, else in jail in the last episode, too. All his own shit? Oh, true. But. but... Kelly doesn't know that, though. Ke Kelly, there you go. Not yet. He saw Rue's rock bottom, though. After that episode, I was pissed off. 
with Rue. I was like, you're useless. I, I, there's nothing you can do to redeem this. You cause someone literally. to be in a car accident because of how reckless you're being. Right. Um, I thought we were going to see more about the she was, aftermath of what Rue did, but... We she didn't. was tweaking out, though. Like, yeah. She was kind of just, like, blindly going crazy because mm-hmm. she was just fiending so hard. Like, it's not necessarily her fault. I also but it also we would is. see more immediately about that massive suitcase, but I guess... Yeah. Nothing. The biggest consequence of her fucking life? Yeah. She took some of those drugs, and she's like... Took a shit ton. Yeah. You're literally gonna be sold to fucking slavery, but whatever. Yeah, and then um, the drug people were theorizing like, the, the drug lady was gonna, like seller for like sex trafficking oh yeah because she said you're lucky your woman there's always something you can do yeah right thing and then she was like shooting her up and all that yeah. locked her in the house jesus christ this all sounds yeah. not the Star episode Wars that was like, like all just rue i really didn't care for i was like it's an episode and i watched it but like well, i didn't I mean, feel like the show is about rue though I feel like it's more about like uh, seasons of no and Maddie and all those had girls. Story. You can Nathan argue that's that. Nate's story too in this yeah. season. Yeah, he's been the main villain, and he's been getting a lot of screen time. Mm-hmm. Um, even before that whole fucking freak out with Rue, she was like giving that little presentation, and she was like, kind of checking herself to be like, not literally, but she was like. Like, self-checking herself. Like, yeah, I'm a shit person, and that's not what I'm going for. Mm-hmm. So I'm not one you're supposed to be rooting for. It's like, they are not going to be a likable yeah. character. Mm-hmm. I And then she, like, guilt-tripped her fucking sister, and she was just making her feel guilty, and she was gaslighting her. I was like, are you yeah, fucking serious? She it was you. tweaking. That was before she tweaked. She was like all calm. It's like I'm gonna try pot, <laughs> and then she's like, "You're a oh, fucking Beckman, asshole." Yeah, yeah. She was yeah. gaslighting as fuck, dude. And then she's like fucking Jules. Like I thought they were friends, and they're just fuck buddies. I, I don't understand that. And then Elliot's fucking her, and then Jules is fucking. Jules oh. is a bit fucked up for like going back and forth. I didn't understand her motives at all. Yeah, but Rue just was trying to have a three way. Rue Ru and Jules started dating when Jules came back, and then uh, Jules cheated on Rue with, um, what's his name? Elliot. Elliot. Elliot, yeah. By the way, fine as fuck. True. Dominic yeah. Fike, oh my Holy. god. Oh, and we can't talk about the last episode, damn it. Right. I was gonna complain about him. <laughs> What, his little thing that went on for, like, five minutes? Yeah, too long. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, in reality, it's only three and a half. It just felt it still sounds long. pretty long. <laughs> this... I get so exhausted watching this fucking show. Like, the dad had a whole <laughs> gay episode. Oh my god, yeah. Uh, well, honestly, they, I really like I'm this. making you feel bad. I cried because I felt bad for the character. And then I was like, oh shit, this is Cal. Mm. I like Cal. Yeah. I don't. I don't really have problems with Cal. I think the the mom and dad got treated? better after after they got like separated because the mom started yeah. to have a lot of fun, but she's drinking, so that's that can't lead anywhere good. Right. But Cal, he had a lot of a uh, pathos in his episode because he showed like yeah. he was going to explore his r- uh, roots and then fucked up by getting what's her name pregnant. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, dude, the, what, the episode, like, the part where he was, like, younger, like, his best mm-hmm. friend, oh, like, I I loved their whole, like, dynamic. Yeah. It just, I don't know. I kind of had those experiences in high school. Those were the ones that felt more accurate to me, like, checking mm-hmm. out, like, mm-hmm. like, my classmates or something. It's like, if I can't right. do anything with them, fuck. Mm-hmm. But. Wait, 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 pause, pause. Who, though? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh it was well, like, elab- elaborate there, Kelly. I want to know. <laughs> Shoot, who was that tall guy? Easton? And, and, uh, not Easton. Nolan? It was. It's the. It, he was the one that. No, Easton was with. Uh, what's her name? It was. She was the really like peppy girl, and she did volleyball, and she had a weird name. Talking about Sterling. 
Sterling. Yeah, no, that, was, that was Nolan. That was Nolan. Yeah. Easton. Um, Easton was a guy who was friends with Raymond and Owen and uh, CJ. JC. It was JC. Not wait. You you were talking about JC. JC gave me like this weird signal because I left for some reason. And he gave me a long hug and said, see ya. And I was like, oh, that's oh. so ironic. So that, that my little gay brain started fucking <laughs> touring. I was like, <laughs> what does this mean? And that's, he was, yeah. That's so ironic because he's like the most homophobic <laughs> wow. motherfucker from that school. <laughs> yeah, he's, 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 he's really weird. homophobic. It's so bad. <laughs> what? Do you, Awkward. He so uh Sage and Nahani for prom they were they were though, prom though. queen and queen or yeah, prom queen and queen. And him, Matthew, and Sam literally had this whole ass thing with their by the way, they had juniors for fucking girlfriends, but they had this whole ass thing where they're like, the hey, prom can't have queens and queens. That's so stupid. Ah, and it's like, why we should be king and queen with our girlfriends and it's like you're literally dating juniors also get with the <laughs> fucking times jesus christ for a little mountain town that's that's pretty ballsy <laughs> yeah you that's cool they... that's, that's like cool. that shows a lot of like what i meant like them being queen and queen i, th- I thought that's kind of neat, that's kinda neat <laughs> I, to see. I thought you were like oh that's cool they're homophobic that's all right <laughs> come on that's some light homophobia that's okay <laughs> shit <laughs> and then blaze fucked me over Bro, now he's like the gayest I, shit we on his Instagram knew from the start dude Kelly hit on this dude named Blaze in high school, and he mm-hmm. was such a dick to Kelly about it. Like, he get, what was he saying? Well, he, he wasn't really a dick. He wasn't mean or anything, but he just kept leading me on. And then when I finally said my feelings towards him, he, he like, agreed. He was like, yeah, I kind of feel the same way. Mm-hmm. But then he started to date uh, Haley, which was my friend, uh, our friend in high school. And I was like, what the fuck what? um because they wrestled together and i guess <sighs> Haley was his beard pretty much yeah i think he was yeah yeah i don't know what and I, she was I telling mean... me these bullshit stories that they were cuddling while they were going to uh, do their wrestling thing i was like girl yeah. right in front of me yeah <laughs> and <laughs> But no, like, I think I remember you coming to me and you're just like, yeah, no, he says he's not gay, but I already know he is. Because what's his name? This guy in this geek club uh, told me, he's like, yeah, he was bi. And so I already, like, I already knew and I wouldn't be, like, hunting him over if I knew that he was straight. Like, I had a chance. Like, I wouldn't be wasting my time Mm -hmm. if I didn't have a chance. So... I don't know. Uh, euphoria, euphoria. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry to open up that wound there, Kelly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. No, it's fine. I'm better for it now. Ha 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 ha. It's in a happy, loving relationship. It's for the better. Yes, I am hard. in a nice place right now. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyways, um. <laughs> What was your Euphoria. favorite your favorite episode or part of Euphoria though? The last. Because it's a lot easier to say all the stuff that we hated, but I loved the positive. last episode. The last episode? Why, oh, yeah. why I don't know. Just like watching it, seeing all the shit go down, I was like, oh my god, this is the best fucking episode ever. <laughs> is so much was like like all the build up that they had been doing all season. And even right. in the first season, it like so much was unfolding and it just all like was coming together and I was like, Oh, this is perfect. This is amazing. This is great. So I don't plan on watching Euphoria, but was anything like resolved? Um no. not really resolved. I think it was, it, was just, it was just like more problems. Yeah. It was just okay. Go. Let me give problems you the down. Going up. Let me give you the down low on how ludicrous this <laughs> fucking high school is. <laughs> This random student, which I'm pretty sure in high school you can't really take pictures of someone, like, on campus. Yeah, you can't. This girl is airing out. She's rehearsing, like, she made a play of, like, real life, right, and her experiences in high school. 
And a lot of people, like a lot of the characters, are on stage as other people. And they're airing out dirty laundry. Like, they did a whole scene of, like, Cassie getting, like, she's masturbating on the fucking uh, horse ride. Yeah. And and that was like, who is okaying all this? Like, who giving the budget? Like, I want to make this play. Here you go. Yeah, uh, sure, whatever. Get the Sorry. fuck out of here, dude. Yeah, no one watched about. the play. Yeah, before. not one teacher was supervising this entirety of the play. That is okay. <laughs> so embarrassing. If I was that, if I was Cassie's mom, I'm like, that is not okay. What the fuck yeah. are you doing? Cassie's mom kind of popped off, though. Yeah, Cassie's um, mom's great. Great character. Yeah. She's a very mom. She's a good mom character. She's like a fun mom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But also not in a good way because she's drinking I'm with teenagers. But I liked her interaction with Rue and she was like, Hey, how are you doing? Are you get are you off drugs? And yeah. She was like, That girl's fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> like it's um, not like she's dumb. She fucking knows what's going on. Oh, you know what? Yeah. I watched when it's I watched the funny. first episode of Euphoria. I think I watched the first one. By the way, in that one first episode, I'm pretty sure three people fucked and they were teenagers. And one of them was in a oh, yeah. pool. That couldn't have felt pretty good. And she was cheating, or like, no, oh. just trying to get back at one. Anyway, yeah, uh, not not even that's the, the guy that got arrested. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, and beat to a pulp. Oh shit! Yeah. Well, um. Oh, gosh. <laughs> well, I think that was Cassie's mom in that first episode, right? That where, where was that where you're saying like, oh, are you still doing drugs to like Rue? No, yeah, that was yeah. in season two. Oh, I thought she was like uh, going to Cassie's house to get her piss or something. Oh, yeah, I think she said it twice. Oh, yeah. Wow, yeah. Rue's pretty fucked, from mm-hmm. what I can tell. Yeah. That, girl I, that makes me so sad because I loved the special episode for Rue. That was so good, but it felt like none of it was. So remained. you watched only the special episode and the first episode, and that's it. That's it. Why? Why the you special episode the wasn't special connected episode, not the first enough season. to where I needed to care about like the world. Around I mean, I it. think you should watch the show. It's a really good show. It's just not for me. I mean, like it's just at the end of the day, it's nothing's fucking, for you unless it's, it's a it's a sexy no 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 no, 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 no. it is a, <laughs> it is a sexy high school your bullshit <laughs> everyone fucks and does drugs kind of TV show. Yeah. It's goddamn Riverdale on crack, like crack Have you ever heard cocaine. Of, uh, skins? Have you heard of Skins? No. I've heard of it? Skins is a very it was popular back then. It was a UK show and it was basically the same thing: teenagers raw dogging it and smoking crack yeah it's literally in tune with their sexuality that fucks you up when you're an adult fyi i have so much trauma in high school Uh, i did crack off someone like like, you snorted a line off a dick like it's (laughs) you know what i did in high school snorted a line with my dick Kelly, we fucking sat in front of like the principal's office making like unga bunga noises. Like we're not it was not even that crazy. Uh, Miles, you had the you had the biggest sex life in high school that I've ever met. Okay, I, I not want to okay. hear it. Okay. No, no, no. But I wasn't like that. Like it wasn't like a drama filled thing for me. I didn't make it everyone else's problem. No, you didn't make it anyone's problem, but you were you're pretty yeah, risky. I mean, high, you're, you're school, pretty high schoolers are definitely going to fuck. Like, if I you're find this so hard to believe. But these people are fucking, like, <laughs> construction sites. They're, like, fucking super loud, and they're not being considerate of their parents. They're taking showers together. They're, like... Yeah, like, Nate's yeah. home life? Like, oh he's just God. he was just screaming at Cassie. Yeah. And, like, his mom's in the next fucking room or something. Just, like, oh, this My shit. My parents man. would barge like, in if the door was closed let fucking, alone me having fucking fights the first episode i remember this too i i can't remember her name it's the it's the bitch that cheated on rue i'm guessing jules uh, jules, jules. jules bitch pulled a knife so fast i was like what the fuck oh yeah she when pulled a knife at a party why would you even go to the party oh. we didn't even have parties well, we had a party. Sterling rented out the entire uh, town, city, city, the entire town hall, and like there was a party. But like, 
a lot of people left because it just felt awkward. Like, that's what fucking high school really is. Oh. Like, it's a lot of awkward interaction. It's not this shit. That's Anza High School. That's every high school. LA Unless, High School is probably like. It's probably like Grand this. Theft Auto. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it might be like this. I mean, I, like, I think there's normal fucking stuff everywhere. It's just you guys were in a super small town. It's not like they're in the fucking ghetto though. Like this seems like a, like suburbia. Like it doesn't seem like it's that bad. It's. I feel like it's like in the border between. Like you got like ghettoish area and then you got suburbia. It's not it, it, is what I'm saying. Yeah, there's. It's like ghetto suburbia and like high end. Because Nate and his oh. family, they were like fucking up there. I think. They're, like these kids are just doing. Like it just seems like such a like a dumb plot to me. Like like I and I respect the hell out of the addiction message here. Like I think it's like really good. Like actually shows you like how one. Mu- how a lot of mental disorders play out and two how bad addiction can be but like for it to be a high schooler portraying it kind of sucks like it's it's, it's just it's it's unrealistic yeah like a lot of the times yeah. there's a lot of people who like will latch on to this idea like oh i'm just like rue like that's why i'm fucked up no you're not bitch you're just fucking you're just fucking attaching yourself you know like, what else is unrealistic what's that star wars you can like yeah, Star yeah, Wars. Yeah. You can like Star like, Wars. Oh man, I'm just like Din. Ah, oh, where's my dark saber? <laughs> Fucking yeah. baby Yoda. You you have That's no exactly argument. Din sounds. <laughs> no, it's just like it's every fucking dumb shirtless high school fucking crackhead extravaganza like it's not like they're trying to be relatable at some point they're gonna start fucking fighting zombies dude like it's it's not even i swear to god it's they're they're just trying to make a drama show and like there's some aspects that are relatable there's some aspects that are like totally out of the the park yeah just out of the fucking park and that's why I that's, just don't watch it. Like, showbiz, I, baby. If it's if it's trying to be relatable, it should only be relatable. If it's trying to send a message, it should only send a message. If it is a fantasy sci-fi space adventure with fucking space cowboys and space wizards, I'm all fucking for it. Because that's not sending anything. That's just cool. <laughs> so? Well, they that's tried my to send to something with drugs. Like... Yeah. This spice is bad, guys. Like, it's, yeah. we're not uh, drug dealing in our planet. That was so fucking stupid. The whole point of Euphoria is to, like, show that uh, all the characters are bad and are finding, um, like, happiness through some really bad outlet of oh. some form. Yeah, but uh, I feel so like, like we get that. Literally everyone, everyone is fucked up in that show. And with Cassie and her obsession with love, slash Maddie and her obsession with love, and Nate, and uh, Trey, you can see it more, him just being really aggressive. Dude, I love Ashtray. He's my favorite character. Yeah, same. Was. Is. Yeah. Oh, so you do know. <laughs> he does, I guess. Was. So spoiled. Oh shit! Sorry, Miles. I don't know. No, Wait, I don't, don't, I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm not watching you for it. I'm not. I'm not gonna watch you for it. I don't care. Oh yeah, no. they gunned down that fucking kid. Oh okay. shit! Let's just give moles all the spoilers right now. Wait, was that the kid? So I'm not sure if it was even a Euphoria. It might have been a different show. But did like a kid like get a nerd bullied or something on accident, and then that nerd pulled a gun on him or something? No, Ashtray is the brother what? of the drug dealer that Rue goes to. Yeah, he's like oh, a little oh, kid. Oh, he no. fucking died. He yeah. got shot. Yeah, he's by like the squad team. He's the like thirteen or something. You're talking about. I feel like it's thirteen reasons why. Oh, that might have been thirteen reasons. Yeah. Fuck that show. I hate that show. <laughs> yeah, that, that show. I sucks. love that show. That's just it another. Was good the first season. Second season was so good. That's yeah. what I'm saying. So that's another first thing too. Good. The message should be received in season one. Mm-hmm. Like. Okay, we get it. You're all super... No, no, no. Well, that too. Like, 13 Reasons Why fucked up because they added more reasons why. (laughs) Yeah. Like, they didn't need that. I'd be. Yeah, that shouldn't... That should not exist. I I feel like, um, once you get the point across that all these people are doing fucked up things for, like, 
small inconveniences, really. Um, it's just, like, you got that point across, okay, now fix it. Like, show them, show people how they can improve themselves in that situation, rather than just make it worse. I, that's not that kind of show. It's people like, like to see a train wreck. It's yeah. fucked. I, yeah. This is why I don't watch it. Like, I, it's like, not fulfilling. I can't just like constantly this is, be like. It's not okay, a fucking documentary. Remember. It's TV, dude. Yeah, I guess. It's not a self help book. It's TV. <laughs> it should be a self help book. Fuck these kids, dude. I mean, there's like subtle messages and stuff, but they're not like. It's not like their ultimate goal is to fix fucking world hunger or something. I know I probably have like a bias here, but I also will say that Zendaya kills it. Oh yeah, she's a very good actress. Very Incredible. very good. She has so much good range. Yeah. Oh yeah. I hate her character, and that's like <laughs> it helps with her being yeah. a great, good actress. It's it's crazy because you can hate her uh, character but not the actor because a lot of times so people well. associate the hated character with a hated actor Mm-mm. she's fantastic yeah have you seen um what is it it's like a movie that's like all black and white and it's Malcolm her and Marie. One of, yeah that one yeah she, she was great in that yeah. yeah oh i didn't even know that yeah it's it's a really good movie it's um, it's basically a couple arguing all night and so it's just them two monologuing back and forth yeah for two hours that kind yeah. of feels yeah. like that kind but of feels, it's super good that kind of feels like it, one of like, the special episodes honestly that's why i really liked the special episode for rue because like it was literally mm-hmm. just such a like like a like a helpful thing it felt like 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 you mm-hmm. were one you were the one in like therapy right now like it was really good I really liked it for mm-hmm. that reason alone because it was like it was just straight up talking getting somewhere or at least I thought it was getting somewhere and it just feels like not only was a special episode not like attached it just did nothing for Rue like she's just fucked yep nothing yeah. has changed with her and she apparent. said in the beginning of one episode or I don't know if it was multiple she was like she said like like I said in the beginning I don't plan on getting clean or something like that. Yeah, she said it many times throughout the show, too, that she doesn't plan on getting clean. Yeah. Girl, where is your mother? Her mother kicked yeah, ass yeah. in a couple her episodes. Mother's, her mother's mm-hmm. crying in the other room. Yeah, mm-hmm. after she broke down the I door, I saw. her ass, and I would take oh, her straight yeah. to rehab. Kicking and screaming. Dirty I don't care. I don't care. She, they should not be staying there. They need to fucking move. This is a bad place for their. Uh, you can argue that's money, but how could you afford rehab? How can we afford these hospital visits? Yeah. I don't and, think it's not even about the money. It's not about the neighborhood. Like that's not how they make it seem. Like Rue's already been to rehab and stuff and gotten care. It just keeps not working. Like it doesn't really show her mother like struggling with money and like, oh, I can't send you to rehab. I don't have the money for it. She never says that. It's just Rue has a fucking problem and she can't get over it. Rue doesn't want to commit to get actually over getting over it. I'm probably sounding insensitive, but they need to go to fucking Kansas because this yeah. is... Just have her live in the woods for like a few months. Like, the environment helps because that's how she met Elliot. And Elliot inha- like inhibit her to keep using drugs. So if she's in a place where they're not gonna like encourage fucking... Encourage it. Encourage it. Like... She's in the worst school fucking possible. Yeah, this like, is the worst school church on camp. Earth. Jesus Christ. Like, even her friend group is like, are you on drugs? And she's like, oh, a little bit. And they're like, okay. Okay. No, 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 okay. No. <laughs> okay. Why are you on Oklahoma? Like, so stuff like that. No, they said, um, like, they were like, are you on drugs again? Or something. And she was like, a little bit. And they were like, wait, what? Are you serious? Like, they were concerned about it. And she was like, oh, it's just weed. No, like, that's oh, still, okay. that's still... Like Jules was like, "Why are you drinking that. alcohol?" Like she was pressing her. Yeah. Uh, it's like, yeah, that's oh, what a yeah. friend should do. Yeah. And then Rue was being a bitch. Not, I don't say. Um, is it means calling her a bitch? No, mm-hmm. it's just the character. No, is it justified? Yeah. Yeah. She's a bitch. I, they should be upset <laughs> with the characters, you know. Because I'm like, I'm wondering if it's like. 
not okay to say like call a girl a bitch anymore so i'm just kind of like but that's like my you know girls are weird about that i call sam an asshole instead of a bitch <laughs> you call that, us something is at that all. Progressive? <laughs> ass is like well you can call your friends an ass it's not that bad i called hector i call or, alan I call... whatever i feel like Really? I call Jeremy the N word. We call each other the fucking yeah, we call word sometimes. I say the N word. <laughs> that's that's my like, favorite thing ever. No, that's it's literally. I tell this to Alyssa all the time. It is literally hilarious when someone who is gay is homophobic. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucking funny because I remember Sage and Nahani did that all the time at school. It's just like, what are you? What are you? What are you gay what are you or something? Gay? <laughs> uh, what so... were these names? Uh, uh, do you remember Ivy that... Dunnigan? Yes. That That's is Sage. Sage now, yes. And then Nahani okay. is her girlfriend. She was the friend of hers, like, all the time. And then, like, people were just like, well, you guys should just go out. And they're like, oh, we played sure. Among Us with them. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they were cool. They had a lot of interesting quips. <laughs> Quip. Quip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's Euphoria. Uh, sh- that was Euphoria. Um, back to Euphoria. You don't want to talk any more about Euphoria? Well, uh, do we have to make time? Uh, no, no. We're, yeah, we're what totally time are we at? Uh, if we have no minutes. time constraint. Yeah, yeah, do you guys want to go the uh, hour and a half, hour and ten, what we feel? What are we at right now? 51. 51. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, uh, Elden Ring. Yeah. Oh, Elden shit, Ring. we never talked Elden about Ring. Elden Ring. Ring. Holy shit. Spoilers. I really? wanted... My TikTok is full of Elden Ring. Full of it. Video full after video, it. I swear. And Moles, you keep sending me stuff when I told you I didn't want any spoilers. Because <laughs> it's really funny. The There's a <laughs> lot of really funny parts in it. You're never going to remember this stuff either. There's so much to do in Elden Ring that like, you're oh, yeah. literally never going to remember seeing it on a TikTok. There's only one that I know yeah. I'm going to remember seeing on a TikTok, and it's super fucking goofy. It's so fucking funny. There's, like, mm-hmm. a cat boss mm-hmm. that is, like, super stationary and moves, like, really goofily. Like, see, it literally, like, levitates, tits, uh, tits, tilts forward and, like, slaps <laughs> the ground and then, like, leans back upwards. <laughs> It's so fucking stupid. Like, and I think it's like wearing a sweater too. Like, it looks so fucking goofy. I'm sorry, you lost me at tits. <laughs> <laughs> that would be where I lose you, oh, wouldn't God. it? <laughs> uh, game seems cool though. Like, I haven't played any of the Dark Souls, but since I'm seeing so much of Elden Ring. I think it looks pretty sick, and you say it's co-op. Like, yeah. I don't I don't think I'd really play it alone, yeah, but if you can co-op games. it, I think I'd get into it. So, yeah, I want to kind of want... I've never played a Souls game myself. I want to know how cooperative this is. Like, are we summons? Yeah. Like, do you summon us during fights, or do we travel um, together? You guys haven't played the game, right? You've no. never played the game. No. Hmm, okay. So, I have the game. Jeremy might even fucking... He's probably playing it right now. Um, <laughs> we've been playing it on stop. He is. I'm not. I've been playing Sims Three for a little bit, but I've been on and off with Elden Ring. But it's not even relevant. It's just shut up. So, um, <laughs> Elden Ring is really cool. I'm having a lot of fun. It's way better than any fucking Souls ever. It's like the best one. It's That's not glitchy cool. at all. Super expansive. Like, so you know, like how in Skyrim where like you have the big ass open land right yeah. and then you get to yeah. go to like different ports and that's like different like loading screens yep. yeah so think of that as like co-op so co-op is like the large open world you can summon your friends wherever right if there's like okay. a like a summoning pool they're called summoning you can pools. just you can just hang out around pretty much you can what? just farm for souls if you really want to but if you want to go to different areas you're gonna have to like say a cave you want to go through that cave you have to like light the bonfire and then summon your friend so you can't go everywhere you can explore the giant ass world without any horses it's gonna take a while but whatever so and so as long as you're not like activating a loading screen you can travel with your friends pretty much without 
co-op and without online there's no loading screens oh my god except if you go to if you except you fast travel if you fast travel there's gonna be a loading screen but it makes sense co-op it's gonna block it off it's gonna block off that entrance to the cave it's gonna block off the entrance to the um to any like inside stuff you can go to the next boss fight because that's why the summoner there the co-op people are there it's just for you to finish a boss but you can do everything in between that's um, pretty fucking sick mm-hmm. you like, don't have how, any how exactly is the game like laid out it's like you have a main mission and then there's a bunch of side missions or what so it's not directly said and there's no tasks actually there but you can trigger certain events to go into a quest line with a certain character and they just says like go um i don't even know what the fucking main objective is i'm just exploring and doing crazy shit yeah that's what it is mm-hmm. like there's so many side quests and so many random people you can meet right. there's one chick that literally tells you you get no bitches and then hugs you um, she's the one no <laughs> she's no maidens the, no maidens she is the one that levels you up you get to see her uh Frequently, I think. Okay, that's pretty cool. The lady who gives you a hug, she gives you like buffs, they like uh, consumables throughout. Oh, uh, you just have to keep hugging her, and she'll keep getting you stuff. Oh my god, oh, I'll do that all the uh, time. Jesus Christ. She's really, her name is Fia. She's really cool. She's like the mommy. Everyone likes her. She's so sweet. Um, I love her George R. R. Martin wrote, uh, helped direct this game, so it's full of kooky, like kooky. Uh, Really cool characters. They're super. Uh, to my traits. yeah, I, to my I, I knowledge, my <laughs> to my knowledge, there are eighty-three total bosses, and seventy of them are completely unique. And that's it's pretty. That's a lot of fucking game right there. It's a huge mm-hmm. game. It is fucking ginormous. So I saw that this one streamer, I think he says he completed the game in like two and a half days. There's, there's, no, liar. there's no fucking shot. It's a yeah, fucking there's liar. No Absolutely no way. I can't I, even I see where like, I don't think the full like, because there's like an item thing. Now I was trying to look for different items uh, in the game. And I was going to go to Wikipedia. That's not even updated yet. So that's fucking bullshit. Yeah, it's like, unless he just wrote the fucking book of Elden Ring. Like there's no way. Um, oh, and guess what? So there's these consumables, and you, you guys played a Souls game, right? No, never in my life. No, no, no. Nothing. What the this, fuck? Okay. This will be the first. So yeah. <laughs> Souls is like, it, we just call them Souls. We call yeah, like these little checkpoints Souls. bonfires. They're not called graces. They, yeah, it's called graces, so we don't call them that. Yeah. Uh, they're Souls. And Souls, uh, there's like a big old cluster of Souls, right? Mm-hmm. And if you uh, use it, it gives you a shit ton of souls all at once. So Jeremy and I got the highest level of souls and duplicated it to like four stacks, ninety nine. So I have two stacks of ninety nine of those shits, and I've been buying a bunch of good stuff. And you could level up to max if you, ah, oh, if you want to. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah. I got hiccups. <laughs> <laughs> this man was like being exercised, like mid-sentence. I couldn't fucking talk. I had to <laughs> Um, super cool character customization. I really like yeah. it. Um, I can't I've wait seen... to make mine look like Zoro. <laughs> so yeah, I, was, that I don't know. Did I send you that one? Yeah, I think you did. That still looks. So yeah, cool. someone made Zoro, and I just saw someone made Inosuke from Demon Slayer. That's so fucking sick. That's so brunette. That's crazy. What did you choose, Kelly? Did you go? Uh, what did yeah, yeah? What did you choose? What class? Yeah. yeah. Um, I originally chose wrench, but then I was like, I'm not getting any good shit, so I ended up choosing a confessor. And confessor is like a mixture of fighting and healing, so it's like a church spy. That's like their whole uh, that's their shtick. So I had like this broadsword, and I had like this healing ability. You can throw fireballs. You have a like, great heal, a uh, cure diseases. Um, I kind of wish I chose uh, some, the. There's this one that had like two swords and they're blue. I forgot what they were called. Wait, so if you change your class, do you have to restart the game? They're just your starting uh, equipment and stats. You can change it to whatever you need it to be later on. Oh. It's just going to take a while. And it takes a while. You're going to have to like sit in the same fucking area for 
ever farming that, and you're gonna get it. yeah but that one area is ginormous yes i thought that was the entire game but there's swamps past the fucking enemy boss there's like a hell area over there there's another swamp down there and <laughs> that's that, that's not even it that's not even all of it it's a lot it's, of swamps <laughs> and there's dungeons and caves and fucking other stuff all in between all that there's, so you're from, gonna get pretty busy from what i know too there's also an elevator that literally takes six minutes like on a on, on a, an uninterrupted six minutes to take down to like uh this one area where it's a really really cool boss that you can fight <laughs> that's bon- gonna be a bitch going back and forth dying <laughs> yeah. oh, well no there's, there's a bonfire at the very bottom it's just okay. it's, it's it's really fucking funny it's like because <laughs> you're literally it's literally six minutes uninterrupted i think it's why like would they do that break. i think it's like <laughs> it's a a break, honestly it's a snake eater moment snake eater yeah like a snake going around and eating itself what do you mean um <laughs> anyway snake <laughs> eater metal gear solid three what? Not, you know what i'm talking about no, no. So there's like five minutes of straight climbing this fucking ladder. Oh, and you're like, yeah. okay, this is getting weird. Then the theme song starts starting. You're like, okay, and they're still climbing. And then it's like, it roars and it's like, ah, oh, what? And you keep going. It was five for five minutes or something. Yeah, I know exactly. What Are you t- you're talking about from Dark Souls 3, you said? Was that the Ice DLC? Or the Ice Land DLC, because like I remember seeing someone climbing that ladder, because that shit snake took eater? so long. Said Snake Eater. You guys are gonna look like real fools when everyone else except you guys know. <laughs> oh, snake Eater, Metal Gear Solid Three. Stuff. Yeah, Metal Gear Solid Three. Uh, uh, snake when he cl- when he climbs up the ladder, right? And uh, then the, it's like I'm still in a trap. Snake Eater. <laughs> Keep going, keep going. <laughs> um, it's like rolling credits as you're like climbing the ladder. The darkness <laughs> of the night. What a thrill. Like that. It's so good. After this, we got to fucking... I'm, I'm playing it. It's super good. It's a, it's like a James <laughs> Bondy type theme song, and that was what they were going for. Um, Elden Ring's really cool, though. Um Sorry, I wanted to yeah. kind of break it yeah, away from that was a, I um, love how you said it's like Snake Eater, right. as if we were supposed to fucking know I'm that. sorry, I, I, I was kind of a know. dick, but I was, I was kind of out of line for doing all that, but it was a, it's, a, it's a reference. You know, all right, we're definitely checking out that fucking reference after this. And I'm going to show you my great ladder of Dark Souls 3. That's the only one that I thought you were talking about, I swear to God. They got some pretty big ladders. They got some long ladders. Yep. And Bloodborne yeah. too. There's a long ass one. I wanted to play Bloodborne so bad, but now that Elden Ring's here, I'm like less like wanting to play it, obviously. Dude, I'm so upset it's not cross plat. Yeah. Like I wish I could play it with Kelly and Well eventually and we'll Colin. play it with Kelly as soon as we know his like specs for his PC. Yeah. I, I think, I think I, we'll I'm not sure fun. what it is. Like, I want to play with Colin, too, but he doesn't have a PC. What a pussy. Yeah. I guess. I kind of wanted to... I kind of wanted him to be on this episode just so we could talk about Elden Ring. It's about, yeah. I think my build, I'm going to run Scythe. Absolutely. I saw someone else running Scythe. I was like, that looks fucking sick. I want to run Scythe. Dude, how many classes are there? There's a million weapons in that game. You can run like a sword bigger than you. Uh, yeah. Uh, like a berserk sword. Yeah, like a berserk sword. Yeah, yeah. There's like this uh staff, like this magic staff. You shoot it if you like fire it. There's like a meteorite. It's just like <laughs> super Whoa. cool. I have. Jeez, Jeremy got like, he got like this giant axe shaped like a bell. It's like that and. It's, it's it's kind of like the sh- I don't fucking care. It's <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, he's been farming for that fucking thing. He's been like fighting enemies that look cool just so you can get their armor. But you have to keep farming for it. I also saw there's a pumpkin head. 
oh, it's a boss. Uh, Papa Head's like a recurring boss that comes in. He was a boss. He's a pretty early boss with like a giant ass health bar, but then he's like an enemy later on. Oh, so it's like the golems. I think they're called right. I think the golem is also a boss at first. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sorry to spoil that shit for you guys, but it's a pretty cool fucking game. You're not even gonna remember any of this. Right. That's why it's like fun to say. I'm gonna um, remember every single detail. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> what class would you guys choose? I don't even know, like the list of class. I think there's like samurai. I I know a few of them. Mm-hmm. There's samurai, uh, samurai. Samurai. I heard is like really cool. Like it's a really good one, but it's not the best for beginners. Apparently. Uh, no. It's. There's not a big learning curve, to be honest. If you're patient, yeah. you'll get through anything. Oh, well, like, yeah, we'll so I'm a beginner, <laughs> one, and two, I would be on mouse and key. So, oh, yeah, oh that's right. You, you have to buy. Oh, <laughs> good luck with that shit. I'm running controller. Fuck out. I, mean, I want to oh, learn God. mouse and key, so I'm hoping Elden Ring will. <laughs> you want to learn mouse and key on a Souls game? I never played mouse and key. It shouldn't be such a big issue. I, I think, think it would be. I fumble when I am on a controller, so I, I like when you're in like an oh shit moment, then yeah, it's gonna. It doesn't really matter. You're gonna fuck up on a controller. You're gonna fuck up on a mouse and keyboard. You're probably gonna have to buy a second keyboard just so that when you break that initial, oh. <laughs> you can replace. That's it. That's probably why. I love this keyboard though. <laughs> Um, Alyssa, uh, class, what are you going to run? Oh, I don't know. A healer of a sort, right? Your uh, faith. Faith is like the big like heal. Uh, okay. There's like two types of magics. There's sorcery mm-hmm. and faith. Or intelligence okay. and faith. You want to go somewhere towards faith. Perfect. I heard um, Vagabond was a pretty good way to go. Vagabond's your stereotypical starter. He's like yeah. Soldier 76. He's mm-hmm. like a good shooter, you know. Like the good base, yeah. Yeah. I feel like uh, anyone who goes prisoner is literally just memeing. Mm-hmm. Prisoner's actually pretty good. He's a mixture of he's like the confessor, but it's intelligence based instead of faith. It's like fighting in intelligence. So he has like like a staff that shoots lasers and stuff. Oh, that's pretty cool. Right. Yeah. I heard there was one that's like a jack of all trades kind of. Is that? the prison no no i think the jack of all trades is probably wrench where you're just in a loincloth and a club <laughs> with all with, all, with 10 for each huh? all that you need a caveman pretty much he's pretty much a like a caveman with a wooden shield when you made your character kelly did you make it look anything like even remotely like here yeah you haven't even good? shown us your character yeah mine's a fucking Mine's a big old woman. I like playing Hell as girls, yeah. so yeah. I'll, I'll show a picture. I'm gonna play later, and I'll show you guys a picture. What, are you fucking She's... gay or something? You're fucking gay. Uh... <laughs> that they know. Um, but if you don't want to look, it, you can change your character how they look after. Um, if you go into the main hub, there's gonna be an area where you can just literally change your character to any sex. Uh. Uh, name, face, whatever. Uh, like at any wasn't... time you can change? Yes. Oh. I've been changing my hair color like frequently in hair. You change your sex on the fly? That's so progressive. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's like a frog. Um... <laughs> <laughs> what did you say, a frog? Wow. Yeah, frogs can change sex. It's like a frog. <laughs> like a clownfish. Yeah. <laughs> We're talking about your character, I think. How hot they are. Oh my god, the males. The male characters in this game. <laughs> I'm Jeremy's down. character. I Jeremy's like, character. Oh. I thought they looked like skin and bones mostly on it. Like I thought they looked super fatigued. You can beef them up and give them like good lengthy sexy body hair. 
You want to run that back again? Sexy body hair. You want to run that back again? It's just lengthy. <laughs> I mean, that's come on, guys. It's a joke. Lengthy, sexy body hair. Uh, yeah. Am I the like, only one? Like what? <laughs> no, you I could mean, just yeah. You like to hold on to something. Hairy, so I, I kind of got you. Yeah, I kind of see. It's just to where it's like, it's lengthy to. Are length has nothing like, to do with it, but it looks are good. You, are you it's saying you, you can make someone like, like super hairy, like a super hair? hairy chest? Yeah, like there's yeah, a like little meter that like. Chest hair. Yeah. There's like a little meter that's like how much hair you want. And it's you can max it out. That, that's the thing you point out. That's. Yeah, uh, it wasn't really relevant, but. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying how much Jeremy's uh, character looks. He, he looks really uh, good. It's just funny that hey, you don't you know, you guys It's just interesting you don't like gravitate towards like the abs or like the like the sheer girth of the man. No, lengthy chest hair is where you land. Lengthy chest hair. It lengthy, went... lengthy, sexy <laughs> chest hair. Sexy chest hair. <laughs> it it looks good. Uh, but, like the the muscles look good too. Uh. <laughs> So how like how like detailed is the customization? Is it like um oh, cyberpunk? Super like good. how you can change the it's, dick I, and stuff? I think the I think I Dark Souls has like some of the okay. best customization options like ever. If you're looking to get a pretty face, like if you want to be a genuinely pretty person in that yeah. game, you're gonna have to try a little bit hard. Yeah, I did. I was like, I I keep tweaking my character. Like the first time I played the game, I was like, this character looks ugly. I'm just gonna restart and just keep going and keep going and i didn't know you can fucking change it at in mid game but that wasn't really common in other souls games you want to change like the hairstyle you're gonna have to make a new whole character and save there's a uh that a lot of people just like that's why a lot of people like meme their character they either make it like a solid green menace to society or they'd like cave in their face <laughs> it's just so i saw funny. like a nose that was like literally yeah. that takes up. Oh, their that's gonna be Hector's character. Those, yeah. Let's that's, go. Yeah, if he wants it to be realistic, that's what he'll have to do, right? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he wants to. Alyssa, <laughs> <laughs> I would absolutely hang up this call right now if I could, but we're in a podcast. Yeah. Well, you know what? Actually, hold on. I think you're just about. I think you're about to be pretty happy because I think we're about to wrap it up right there. <laughs> now he's pulling out the bottle. Let's get this party yep, started. Is that perfume? Oh my god, honk. Yeah. Yeah, it's totally. perfume. It's big old bottle perfume. That's what I thought. Absolutely, yeah. it is. Um, are you gonna be it... drinking it out of that fucking coffee mug? God, I have been this whole time. Why are your cheeks so exaggerated? Sh- they look like Kirby. Uh, well, well, I have a lid. I don't want to... No. Don't judge me. Uh, where's your whiskey glass? Where's this your... Is, this is spiced rum, actually. It doesn't where's your spiced it. rum doily that you put your spiced <laughs> rum bottle on? Your cup? Doily? Yeah, get your doily out. <laughs> about the doily, huh? <laughs> the drip. Is, is this a doily? <laughs> I got a coaster. It's, it's kind of like laced. a doily. Yeah. I want a laced doily. What's a, what's a doily? It's like a... It's a laced coaster. It's like coaster, a, coaster. a coupled coaster, yeah. Yeah. yeah this, it's this a laced coaster. <laughs> it's marine. It, oh. Okay. That'll yeah. pass. That'll... That's, that's my that doily. That's my doily. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so last episode we asked, "Do you think Obama is circumcised?" And so who I now? Think, uh, well, firstly, we need our consensus as a podcast. Do we think Obama's? Uh, is... yes. I, I think, think no. No, I don't think so. I think yes. He was born in Hawaii, and it it's more clean. Mm. But when, what year was he born? I don't know. He's like fifty something. 50s? No, I think he's like 60 something now. No, I think he is 50 something. Oh. Uh. So, like in the 70s. 
Seventies. Was was Obama. Born. What's Obama's last name? <laughs> uh, John Obaro. Oh my god. Off topic, but not really. In fifth grade, we had to promote Obama or who was running with him at the time? Biden. Romney? Biden. No, not Bi- no, no, Biden. Biden was the vice president. Biden was, was the Romney, vice. right? Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, and so I was, I chose Obama, and for my promotion poster, I wrote, Obama is the bomb. <laughs> Obama is the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> nice. Nice. So, so bad. <laughs> I don't think Obama what is were you in, Obama was, in grade. was born in 1961. I'm not Holy too sure. Shit. He's like almost 60. He He's is 60. He's 61. I told you. Holy shit. He was born in 1961. So he's 61. Jesus. Is he? <laughs> motherfucker, motherfucker doesn't even have his tonsils Aww. out. I guarantee it. <laughs> <laughs> um. Kelly, you're this this is taking a lot of research for you to decide whether you're he's, like, he's like looking at different <laughs> pictures of his crotch, like mm, enhance that image. Oh, yeah. Here it kind of looks mm. like this might be inappropriate. Have you seen Michelle's crotch? No. No. People are like, there's theories that she's like trans. Oh. Michelle? Yeah. There's well, like adopt the girthy animals, did pictures they? of her. How are you finding this right now? What the fuck? Not now, no, not right now. My hands are off the... Oh, okay, well, that's the next spread. episode. We get to talk about conspiracy trends. I'm going to get assassinated if I say anything. That's <laughs> All right, I'm audience. Was Circumcised or not, Michelle Obama. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, but... Okay, so at the end of the episodes now, we're going to ask two questions. Areolas, any Audi, oh and circumcised. What I think... Like size, like the size like of your... preference. No, 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 like nippies. No, 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 like how big, is. like someone else's nips are, pretty much. Because that's like the equivalent, I think, to the circumcision thing, for like a female, I guess. Like if you think they have inclusive. pepperoni nips, salami nips, um, what other like slurs are there for it? Slurs, 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 slang, 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 slang. <laughs> What's another I slur know. for nipples? I like the pepperoni like... tits was like only for big boobies, like a big old. Boobies well, that's well, that's the... that's the question. That's why we're asking. Like it depends on the per- every person has different nipples. Like, like there can be like super tiny ones, or there can be like pepperoni or salami, and then there's like. I don't know, like pepperoni, like sized ones, but they're like kind of translucent, translucent, and like translucent. the, the, this, the this, like this shape of them. This conversation is for the next one, guys. Okay, okay, okay firstly, okay. firstly, the consensus is that Obama is circumcised or is not circumcised. Sorry, I don't Besides think he Kelly. Is. I don't think he's. I don't think he's circumcised. Um, Michelle Obama. I guess we'll just do her. She's got some pepperonis, absolutely. I think I think hers are a little bigger than pepperonis, not salami, but a little bigger than pepperoni. I think I think they're like relatively small. No, wait, no, average. Get, about like nah, nickel size. Can we get arrested for this? Uh, we could be assassinated. Oh. Probably. We're talking about former president and first lady. Yeah, we're talking about their dick and tits. I don't know. I don't know if that qualifies for being like. Fucking, I don't know. I don't even know. Doesn't even matter. Yeah, I think at this point it's just disrespect. That's it. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine if Obama okay. listens to our podcast? <laughs> and like, Michelle, okay. Michelle, they're talking Michelle. about your cock. Yo, give us a <laughs> shout out. <laughs> Michelle, they know too much. <laughs> Michelle, Michelle, how would Michelle, you rate your drive nipples? By. Okay, um, any ideas for the next... Circumcised or not? Um, fuck. I'm thinking Robert De Niro. 
All right. That mo- that motherfucker's packing cheese. <laughs> like moles. Okay. And what about packing the female dick guys? Cheese. And what about All the right. female guys? No. Um, let me think. Let me think. Oh, my favorite, Anna de Armas. Who the fuck is that? Who's that? She's cute. She's a cutie. We brought her up in a previous I episode. I swear to God, we have not. Yeah, we have. Have you seen Knives Out? I remember you guys were talking about um, Blade Runner. Yeah, yeah. She was I remember. There. I didn't even know she was in that. Who was she in that? She was Joy. She was the robot. No, she was the hologram. Anna de Armas. Fucking gorgeous as hell. Fucking. She Look was her a... up. Look her up and give us your opinion. Yep, that'll be for the next episode, guys. Yeah. Uh, anyway, thank you for listening to this one. Uh, we're at our wits' end with this shit. And go watch Book of Fett if you want to be a disappointed. Go watch Euphoria if you're a really weird, horny person. All right, see you guys. Bye. Later. Bye.